Hi. Hello. Hello. Hi, how is it going? Pretty good. How are you? Good. I'm good. It's very hot here, so I'm kind of toast. toast yeah, it's, it's actually very hot here, too. Yeah. So, yeah. So how is everybody doing? Let us Hi, know. guys. So um, Mar is not here. Again. Again. She has abandoned us. No, no, she has not. She was she she was so excited to be back, but uh, then something unexpected came um, in her way, and <laughs> she couldn't be here today. But she will be here next week. She did prepare some fun shark um, templates. So because today we are having a shark infested life, right? Yeah. You're For doing sure. sharks, and I'm doing sharks as well. Hi, guys. So what's going on? Where are you guys watching from? Karen, Mar is not going to be here. I know you guys are missing her, but she will be back next. next. Um, you'll see her on Tuesday, and then on Friday, she couldn't be here today. She was planning on, but something unexpected came in. So, um, yeah. Hi, guys. So hi, Nicole. Hi. Oh, it's hotter than ever. Okay, yes. <laughs> Everywhere. Hi. Yes, everything is fine with Mar. She's doing well. Hello, Katie. Michigan. Hi, June. Howdy. Hi, Jeremy. Hello, so, Guys, This week I launched, um, with the help of Global Belly, I launched a subscription, um, Aniela's Big Club cookie uh, kit subscription it's basically what amber has as well in her shop but i am using i have different um different kits i'm just gonna do do a little promo of that yeah right now. let's see it so this is a few yeah, other so you i mean in a subscription there are different uh, designs that you will receive in the course of uh, of your time when you're subscribed and um each kit comes with everything you need to make the cookies so it's many designs for for um beginners as well as uh you know intermediate decorators you can um use these for holidays <laughs> for parties and different occasions and you can uh, subscribe um on global belly i'm going to put a link into the comment section so you guys can check it out. All right, so it's in there. Yeah, there's great. Halloween designs and also super simple and fun fall designs for those of you who don't have a lot of time to decorate. Mm -hmm. And also so you get a different, a new cookie decorating kit every month. Every month, yes, exactly, mm -hmm. yes, thank you. It's for every month you get a new cookie decorating kit. Thank you, Nicole. Thank you, thank you. So, uh, okay, here we are. And also, you get access to your. Oh yes, access to my group. It's an exclusive uh, group for only the folks that are subscribers, where you can we can connect and chat about the cookies and hope maybe I'll do some Q and A uh, once we get started there. You know, in the group, it would be fun if people have questions in regards to the kits and uh, how to get it started. Mm -hmm. So awesome. what are you, can I, can, uh, do you have anything new this week? Um, nothing new, but I have a, an, uh, a live class coming up. Um, what, what, what is it? What are you doing? Oh, these roses. I love these. These are so great. These yeah. Are so I'm doing, right? um, awesome. mm -hmm. these are transfers. <laughs> Yeah, so we're going to just work on wet on wet roses. It's a beginner class. Um, so we're going to make the royal icing. We'll thin it down to flood consistency and talk about all that. Um, and then we'll make these roses. And that's on August 1st. So you can sign up for that in my Global Belly store. Um, yeah, so that should be fun. All right, how do I get rid of that? Okay. <laughs> All right, so I guess we'll just get started yeah. decorating. Do you want to go first? Yeah, I'll go first. While well, I'm, I'm setting up here, mm -hmm. so massaging all my bags. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oops. Here we go. Okay. There you go. All right. I'm so loving what I'm seeing, all these colors. Yeah. 
Um, so I was working on tie-dye cookies last week, and I thought I would just kind of stick with that theme. So we're going to do a rainbow tie-dye shark cookie, because why not? So I have my oh, little... I love that. I love <laughs> I that. Some... Why not? Yeah. <laughs> the shark template that I drew, um, this is what I use to make the royal icing transfers, these little guys here that I'm going to put on top of the cookie. Um, so this template is available in my coffee shop today. It's on sale. It'll be on sale um, through tomorrow. So if you go to... Um, the link is in the description and in the comments. So if you just click on the coffee shop, you will be able to download this template to make your own sharks. So let me just show you how I made the sharks first. So I'm piping these on wax paper. You can also use parchment paper, but wax paper doesn't wrinkle as much. So they stay nice and flat. I'm just using flood consistency icing with tipless bags, and I used um, Master Colors to make all of these. This is super red. And then this pink color is also super red, but it's just a little bit lighter. And I'm just using the scrap tool to fill that in. <clears throat> Okay, so then you don't need to let that dry before you go on to the next step. You just go right ahead and fill in the rest of it. So I'm using just white for consistency icing here. Hello everyone. Amber, your last rainbow theme TikTok was great. <laughs> Thanks. It says. Hello Donnie. Hello Camille. Hey June. So this is just um this was kind of a kitchen sink color that I'm using for this gray. It was like right. some leftover royal blue that I had and I mixed it with yeah, there is a little bit of echo when you talk. I wonder. <clears throat> Let's see if it's me. Can you can you say something? Yes, hello. Is that better? I think that sounds better. Right? Yeah. Did you do anything? No. What did you do? I plugged the um, I did something. Okay. <laughs> I did something. Maybe that's so, what it was. All right, so, uh, okay, so then you just, you want to let that crust over a little bit. Um, and then you can... Hello. Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining us. So today we are doing a shark week. It's yes. a shark infested life. Amber is decorating these awesome shark cookies. Um, I also made something similar, but I'm going to be doing uh, something else. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> So then once those dry, I have, you have to let those dry overnight. Um, and then I just cut the pieces of wax paper off because it's much easier to remove them when they're separated like that. So then we would just use some, I'm going to use stiff icing here. I'm still getting a little echo. Do you, is anybody else hearing that? <clears throat> I'm just gonna pick some teeth. So we we um, we were joking that without the teeth, they look like uh, grandpa sharks. Right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they don't look like much without the teeth. I wanted to look up some fun facts about sharks. We were just talking with someone um, about sharks. I like how you did the teeth. I used I uh, used a different technique. Did, is this? Oops, your is this a stiff consistency you're using? It is. I. It would probably be better if it was a little bit thinner, but oh no, I actually like it this way. Like it's more. It gives it like texture because their yeah. teeth are not exactly perfect. You know, that's one thing I think we forget. These creatures, they are not like 
perf you know, like perfect looking. So they have spots and blemishes and all that on their, mm -hmm. on their mm -hmm. so they don't have to be like Yeah. Perfect. I love it. Anyone that came to a close encounter with a shark? Not me. I I touched sharks in a zoo in a zoo in a aquarium in an aquarium and then in Gulf uh, of Mexico, uh, a shark rubbed against against my leg and I never entered the water again. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so, I mean, it was like we just saw the you know the fin. I'm like, okay, I'm out. Oh wow! I was like, oh, don't worry, don't worry. I'm like, oh well, <laughs> my leg, not yours. So I didn't go back. Very scary. But nothing, maybe I can do whale shark butterfly. Absolutely, absolutely. Anything is possible, as I will show you really soon. You can yeah. do on, uh, so many different cookies. So then you just peel it off. Perfect. Mm -hmm. You can pop it on, on any shape pretty much, right? But mm -hmm. what are you going to do? Okay, so I'm going to be decorating on a fake cookie today because I didn't have any dough. Um, it's, and perfect I for this. it's perfect for practicing. These are called nada cookies, right? Yes, this is, yeah, N-O-T-T-A cookie. So it's just like a plastic practice cookie. So that's what I'll be working on today. Oh wow, your aunt got the shark on a line when you were fishing. That's crazy. Wow. Because they are so they are so strong. They can actually, I think, pull you in, right? If you're not Oh, Phoenix got rain. Hoo hoo. Awesome. We if it's too hot, you definitely need rain for for the things to grow. Sally loves her not a cookie. So Sally, I saw your cookies. Uh, I don't know if Amber had time to see. Uh, <laughs> Sally did uh, your um, eyelid cookies. Yes, I saw that. That was great. Thank you for sharing all your cookies with us guys on Instagram. We love seeing what you guys create. Yes, we do. Oh, Jeremy, you have so many stories. I think you should be alive with us. The <laughs> killer whale yanked one of the fishing poles off the boat, snapped the steel pole, steel pole, that's what I mean, they are very, very strong, and took a very expensive pole to the bottom of the ocean. Wow, mm -hmm. wow how romantic. Somebody in, I don't know how many years is going to find that pole. It rains almost every day in Louisiana. Oh, I don't know if I should. Yeah, I guess that's not very good. So Katie is asking, what are Anne's nails for the day? Um, so these are Color Street again. Um, I didn't put the link there today. But if, you, if you're if you following me on Instagram, you can go to the link in my bio on Instagram and find these nails. What are they? Are they? I just got a glimpse. Oh. Of is it like oh i like that it's like, it's like, like a kind of like looking mm -hmm. very yeah. nice thanks so that's it's that's, two and there's also two two, two, two yeah so there's like a pink one and then like the gold overlay that's what i thought well that's a good story no, that's a really big big story jeremy i'm glad nobody got hurt you know what these stories sometimes um people get hurt mm -hmm. you know, without being in the water with a shark you know like you said the ball if somebody was standing close by yeah. okay. so now to give this a real kind of tie-dye look i'm gonna put some white in there sometimes when i'm doing a squirrel it gets kind of squared off am i piping too fast or too slow it drives me crazy Probably to, I'm going to say you're moving it too fast. Too fast, that's what I, I would say, but I don't like, oh, I love this. This is going to be awesome. You know, it reminds me of like 80s. Yeah. Yeah, 80s vibe. So okay, cute. So now we'll take the scratch. Hello look. from Australia. What time is it in Australia, Sarah? 
And how cold is it? I'm curious. Is it, snow is it snowing? Or I don't know, does it snow? That's a good question. I don't know. It sounds really dumb. I don't know if it snows in a <laughs> no idea. Tell yeah. us. I don't know. Maybe it doesn't. And I'm just going back in in the other direction and between each one of these. Okay, I'm not, I'm confused. Oh, it's 3 a.m. Okay, because I was like, it's 50 Celsius. It's kind of, oh, 55 Celsius. Okay, mm -hmm. so it's pretty cold. It's 3 a.m. Thank you for joining us. No. It's morning hour. Yeah. We don't get snow in this part ever. Mm. I did not know that. Thank you. So I'm so just doing some kind of shorter. But he's loving it, and now you're gonna mm -hmm. co cover it with a shark. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so doing these shorter strokes in between just kind of gives it a more like realistic tie dye look. So this is like a relatively quick project, I think. So you could do your shark transfers like way in advance and just have it ready. I think the longest part is probably mixing all the colors and bagging them. Oh, Olga, I don't know when we'll do another giveaway. We have to... Oh, forgot about giveaways. We, we forgot. We oh, we forgot. <laughs> Thanks have for to, reminding us. You have to um, put something together. And then you can just pop that down. That is so cool. Love it. <laughs> and then I um, feel like it needs a border, so I'll just put some dots around the outside to finish it off. Do you ever have a problem um, with color bleed, with transfers? What's the best way to stop that? Megan is asking. Um, yeah, sometimes it happens. Uh, usually if your icing is too, um, if it's over whipped, that's, it's gonna lead to color bleed or if it's too watery. Also, if you have added too much food coloring, so if you're making dark colors, you wanna make those a few hours in advance or even um a day or two in advance so that the color can just darken on its own mm -hmm. um what else did you say when the icing is too too runny yeah too, yes so i mean sometimes you really it's very difficult to, to eliminate butter bleed quality um boot coloring also helps mm -hmm. Right. Yes, that's true. I use um, Chef Master and Wilton Colorite brand food coloring. Okay, here's our tie dye shark. Oh, I can't see you. You can't see me? I can't see anything. Hmm. Can you hear me? I can hear you, but there is no... Guys, can you see Ember? Hello? <clears throat> What's going on? It's like I'm frozen. I can see you. Yeah, you I'm see frozen. Me? It's frozen. Oh! Uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave and I'm gonna come back. Okay, I'll just do another one. Okay, because it's for, for some reason it froze. All right. So, just me now. Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Can you see me? Yes. Good. Like it was the, I got a black screen. 
So, oh. Okay. Yes, Jeremy. It's been a while since I had technical issues, so I'm like, you know, this is so mes mesmerizing to watch. <laughs> she wasn't feeling the pressure. She's such a pro. It doesn't. No, I, really, I was. I just. <laughs> It's a little scary to be alone on this. It is. It's such a weird, weird feeling because you know you like we basically you're talking to a screen. You know. I know. It's like somebody above us is watching us. They think they are. We need to be in an institution, probably. Like I know. I know. Nobody is. You know. <laughs> Replying. Okay. Awesome. So I'm back. Jeremy is so close from getting banned. <laughs> well, Mar is not here, it's her specialty. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know how, well, I do know how to do that, but. <laughs> do you know, uh, Do you, Sarah is asking, do you have any, any idea what kind of cake or cookie theme to make for a 12 year old who is not into girly things? Well, if she's not into girly things, what kind of things is she? And I think that would be um, good to find out. Tie dye is, fa is favorite, for, I think, with everyone. No. Say again. Tie dye is that a is that no. more of a girl girl thing though? Tie dye is anybody. I think it's anybody. It's like I love it. Or a space theme. Space theme is fun with yeah. galaxy yeah. designs. Um, yeah, that would be nice. If she likes certain maybe shows. You know, she's 12, so she probably has characters. She likes you can, you can draw some designs out of those. Just the pattern sometimes help. Do 12-year-olds like Minecraft? Oh, sure. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, I had a friend, his daughter. She was, she was actually, I think, 12. So you could make Piggy or um, Creeper or Elderman. Oh, you know all the names. Yeah, I'm a cool, cool person. Yes. And so cool. <laughs> Actually, I was talking about this on live on Instagram a couple of days ago. I, I scored some serious brownies with this little four year old because he was here. Oh, yeah. He was like, Oh, I play a Minecraft. I'm like, Oh, yeah. So I was asking, like, who you know he likes. And he was like, speechless, like, You know, you know, Elderman? Well, yeah, I, I mean, I don't know him personally. <laughs> <laughs> I know Elderman. Right. So, yeah, so he was very. Uh, Amused that I I knew. Oh, that's cute. Minecraft. Yeah, but Minecraft is is so popular. Oh, it's been done. So that <laughs> yes, I believe you. That cake took forever. Um, maybe it's maybe sports. If she plays sports, that's a good. You know, mm -hmm. if she I don't know, maybe uh, tennis, soccer. That's a fun team theme as well. It's not too girly. Um, what else? Um, I'm freezing. Okay, very well recovered. Dragons, yes, dinosaurs. Dinosaurs are also fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How to make yeah. dinosaur eyes? I have made a great suggestion, Jeremy. Um, or um, animals. If she likes animals, that's fine. Um, what else I'm thinking? Flamingo. That's a big girly, huh? Mm -hmm. Polar bear. <laughs> yes, that's probably for the best, Jeremy, not to play Minecraft if you want to stay married. <laughs> yes, I would agree. We had to get rid of PlayStation for the same reason. <laughs> Not from my, like, you know what I mean? My, yes. Mm -hmm. Godzilla, yes. So she loves animals. So you could do like an animal theme, which could be really cute. Her favorite animals. And it's fun. You could put them on sticks or you could do um, um, mustache party with colorful oh. You know what I mean? Like put them on a stick and they can yeah. have, or do glasses and then they could have like little props to play with. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
This is so cool. I love it. Thanks. You lied, by the way. You said you were going to do something else. What did I say? You said you were going to do roses. Oh, the roses. Yeah. Well, I figured because, you know, I've done that so many times. So this is really nice. I like that. It's different. It's yeah. It's not so scary. You know, sharks are usually, you know, they are very scary. They look very scary. They, um, they harm. Um, but I've, I've read many times that you are more, okay, Jeremy, we don't have to. Sorry, Jeremy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yes. Yes, she did. She said she was going to throw this. Um, um, what I was saying, yes, that they are very scary, but I read that you're more likely to get struck by lightning, right? Than bit by a shark. Oh yeah. Which I guess it doesn't apply to a person who got bit by a shark, but right i probably don't think that i don't know why i have uh, connection issues you look fine on my end that's very strange that it keeps doing that okay so i guess i can um these are awesome ember thanks <laughs> and you have a template for the shark head in your coffee shop you can see yeah. the link template available is in a coffee shop um so I'm going to, where am I? Here am I. If I can, again, I'm going to have to figure out where to put my cookie because this is, okay, give me a second. So, um, what's everybody going to bake this weekend? What's this weekend? Nothing. I'm not <laughs> baking. Oh, I actually have to bake, I think. I promised uh, coconut lamignons, I promised my husband. Oh. Okay, so I'm going to, I'm going to switch it up. And um, I also made char cookies, believe it or not. I know this is not a traditional shape for a char cookie, but I, um, trying to, okay. There you go. So this is a, ice cream cone shape as I think everybody figured out. And I hand cut these. I will have the template available in my shop in a couple of days. I had some issues with my printer, so it wasn't scanning as usual, technical issues. But I will have this available in a shop. It's a really cute shape for the ice cream, for, uh, but also it works for the shark and I'll show you how. So um, first though, I wanted to show you um, what I did with this design. So basically, you just you could do a full layer of uh, icing on there. I was just testing if the loop will work for this design, but it's not as it's not actually it wasn't working. You could do a full layer, but um, I decided to just brush it on with a flat brush. You want to dampen the brush a little bit. So it's easier to move the icing. I outlined it so I would have the icing from the edge to the edge. If you were to flood it completely with a, you know, with a layer of icing, like we normally do, I, I would say you need to let it dry overnight. This spin layer is going to take maybe an hour or so. It doesn't take as long. And, um, uh, You can remove the excess and um, wipe it into a clean towel, paper towel. I'm also going to add, um, this was a sky blue, now I'm adding royal blue. This is going to be mostly covered, I have to say, but I wanted some different blue in there for the mm -hmm. face, waves, so to speak.
Oh, sorry, you can see me. And I also wanted to show you, this is a design I did with, it's basically, um, oh, it's very slow. You can see that now. I'm so <laughs> So <laughs> it's also a template. It's very simple. Oops, I don't know what I'm doing there. <laughs> it's about 15 to 20 second consistency here. And I decided to do some shading in the middle with a hot pink, because why not? Mm -hmm. And then I wanted, to create, I wanted to create, you know, the shark when they open their mouth, they have these kind of like ribs or whatever. Yeah. So I was trying to shape that into the pink using black. So what you do, you um, uh, you dip your tool in uh, black and then you can kind of draw the lines. You see how I'm kind of draw. It's not really very visible, but you get the idea. Yeah, that's cool. And yeah. Then to, to decorate the rest, I actually used three shades of um, What's this color called? This is like uh, I used royal blue and I added black to it. What's that color called? Um, like I used three shades of it, like dark. It was like uh, kind of like a dusty blue. Okay, yeah. That's like the color. Yeah, I used the yeah, same. So this is like the darkest of them all. Basically, I would say navy, and then you add uh, black food coloring, or you add gray food, gray royal icing. Now I I piped two lines just about the mouth. And I let those crust. And now I'm going to do, well, actually, I only, no, I did three. So this is white. I did two shades and then white. And then I'm going to do the lightest shade. But I only did a um, few lines with it. Like I said, I'm not really paying attention to the lines. If they are not completely straight, it doesn't really matter because, like I said, sharks, have all kinds of blemishes and things on their body, so it doesn't have to be perfectly straight. Mm -hmm. now after this, you want to let this um, crust well before you do the teeth. Make sure that you have something flat underneath. And you can add the eyes, let's not forget those. Okay, but I will show you the eyes later if we have time. So here is my little ice cream cone. This is, it's a little bumpy. It's not a flat surface, it's a little bumpy. So um, it can be challenging when it's bumpy. I'm gonna use this edible marker. This is a black edible marker by Rainbow Dust. We use this a lot, I have several colors. It, it's a dual marker, so you have one end is very fine, and then this is a regular marker. Thank you, Sarah. Shannon wants to know if we're doing this in our homes. Yes. Yes. yes I can't imagine carrying all this stuff that I, if you saw what I have here, <laughs> carrying all this stuff, I carry it upstairs from my studio because I'm not set up there yet for the lives. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, let me tell you, when it's windy, I'm like covering everything so it doesn't fly off. <laughs> so what I, what I did here, this is a simple template, and this will be also available in the shop. In my coffee is shop. it there now or what's or not? It's not there. Not, it's I, I, it's okay. not there. It's okay. not there. Now. I'm going to add it once I add the ice cream cone because it goes kind of together. And we still have time. When is the shark week actually this year? I think it's this. I think it's now. Like this is the end. What? <laughs> I'm so pretty sure it's not supposed to be August. What am I? I oh no, some, okay, maybe some. I'm wrong. I don't know. Somebody's home. Okay, guys, sure. well, please have some good news for me. It's not end of the shower <laughs> week because oh my God. maybe this I'm is, wrong. Right? It's always in August, no? I swear. I don't. I think I'm only going by what the Roku said. So somebody tell me when is Shark Week. Why did we do this now then? We should have done it months ago. <laughs> I, I didn't even think that it's already like- Well, people yeah. can do sharks all year round. So that's okay. true, that is true, that is true. Let's not, uh, yeah, let's not spoil the moment. Yes, you can do this. Why don't you do this for Valentine's Day? It's fantastic. You put a yeah. little heart, a heart in a shark's mouth. Mm -hmm. 
Um, the marker is from Rainbow Dust. This is, yes. And this is going to take a Okay, while. July 11th through 18th. Wait, so there's a couple different ones. So there's July 13th through 17th, July 18th, or July 11th through the 18th. So. There is a couple of Shark Weeks. I mean, I guess it depends who is hosting it. Host, hosting it. <laughs> so we are going to have our own Shark Week. Yeah, right? this is Shark Week now. Really? So I thought it's only on Discovery or something, but I guess I, I was wrong. I mean, that's what I thought. That's very rarely, very rarely am I wrong, but I was wrong. I feel yeah. like it. Yeah, I don't know. I remember it being in August. So now I'm going to uh, we're going to do the mouth. So okay, wait. So the show, like the on Discovery, is August. You, you you really got into it, huh? <laughs> You're not letting go. Okay, where is the show? When is the Shark Week? When is the official? See, Shark Week show airs August 11 and 18. Thank you, Nicole. <laughs> No, you can do sharks on one week every year. Every year. Mm -hmm. I miss it though. Oh, dear me. You're really asking for the. He's right. He's right. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to now do. Um, I'm going to brush uh, fin layer. Again, I'm going to brush fin layer of black. This is another way you can do the mouth. I'm sure you've seen this done many times. You can do this on windows and different um, um, eyes, right? You can do eyes. I'm just going to brush a thin layer of black. This is pretty fluid. doesn't have to be super stiff. Could also use a marker that might be even easier but i don't like to do things easy right? <laughs> i like this question what's the last order you made last order oh i made um no it wasn't an order actually like i didn't get paid it was uh, a request from a neighbor um to make uh, i made them carrot cake last year. Oh, how nice. With um, um, lemon curd and cream cheese frosting. Wow. What about you? Like, I, I don't I don't remember, I have to say, I'll be honest, I don't remember. Like, well, I, I do. Um, long ago. Yeah. It was a long time ago. Um, I don't take orders anymore, but I still make cookies for my for my Patreon subscribers. So that was the last one I did in um, in June. I sent out. Um, you, didn't you just do, do one? It was, that was June. <laughs> it seems like I just did it, but it was in June. Yeah. Yeah. Some mermaid cookies for my VIP subscribers on Patreon. Really it really does. Okay, so this is going to be the mouth of this lovely shark. And I'm going to do, see, I have the outline, so it's super easy. What color is this? This is, I think, uh, like uh, 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 electric, I love electric pink. Mm -hmm. but see, I didn't, this is not a full volume electric pink. The other pink I had is full volume. So what I do, I colored it and then I, um, Bend it down, and then, then I added a little more thing to make it darker. The other one is darker. So, guys, are you surprised seeing ice cream cone with a shark? <laughs> you were not expecting that, were you? I wasn't expecting it either. I was not, but it's so cute. But why not, right? Yeah. Now I'm going to do a little bit of shading. So here on, this is, um, you see how dark this is? This is electric pink. And I like electric, I like uh, all the um, uh, electric colors. 
from Emery Color Brand. Also, Chef Master makes them. I love electric colors, they're so fun. Mm -hmm. So next we are going to do, we can actually, I think this is all already kind of crafting. So I'm going to get my white. Thank you. I actually uh, did these during the live. I sketched this during the live on Instagram a couple of days ago. It was really fun. Oh, that's a good idea for a live. Yeah, it was so much fun because I'm going to show you in a second while this is going to um, crust. Okay, I just don't want to make it. Okay. Oh boy, it's so quiet, you could hear the fly. <laughs> so um, what are you baking? You were asking who, who is baking what? what is it, are you baking something? Um, I didn't plan to, but I feel like I always need some kind of like dessert in the house, so I'll have to make something. Um, Cynthia's asking what suggestions do we have to turn on the creative juices when making cookies? So do you have any like things to kind of jumpstart your creativity? You mean with the designs? Well, the design, the, I guess the designs, uh, just look at it, just kind of like have your mind open to it, I would <laughs> say, right? Like, like oh, in the, oh, I did a live, I did two lives this week. I did a live with lovely Sasha, Kids Chicago. I was showing Sasha how to decorate pineapple cookies and somebody made a comment because I used uh, a leaf tip to make the leaves and they were wavy. Yeah. And they made a comment that um, pineapple doesn't have leaves like that. But in my mind, well, why not? <laughs> you know, like, not, not everything has to be precisely. This is, yeah. this, this is not going to go into a Wikipedia and it's not <laughs> going to explain to people, oh, you know, pineapple doesn't have these leaves. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Creative, just sometimes when we look too much at other people's work, yes, it's inspiring, but it can also have a opposite effect. It could turn you into this um, person who is comparing constantly yourself with others, and it's such a, a turn off create creatively. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if it happens to me. I know it happens happens to me. If I look too much, then I'm like, oh, you know, I wish I had done this on this cookie. I wish I had done this, and yeah not the way that it should be you should do you you know and yeah uh, so like i really like to look at things that aren't cookies to get inspiration oh yeah That's, so yeah. like just you can look up um different fabric patterns and um if you're in like target or something just go look at the clothing look at the dishes um, so just like everywhere, you know. Yeah, yeah exactly. Every, yeah, exactly. It's everywhere. But I do agree. I don't, yeah, you look at the different um, items, not cookies. Pottery, yeah. I like fabric or like um, paper, anything. Now we're going to actually do the cone. So the cone is going to be pretty simple. I just have uh, some dark ivory and I'm going to ice that. I also like jewelry, looking at jewelry. jewelry. Lace is really nice. Lace, if you are into lace work. Oddly, I look at patterns of dish towels. Yeah, that's, mm -hmm. yes, it's, I have some that are really nice. Or curtains. Curtains are good as well. Mm -hmm. I see some nice curtains behind you. Oh yeah, polka dot, my favorite. Napkins are good. Mm -hmm. Also, 
and you can find some cool napkins. <laughs> what did he say? What did he say? I don't know. You can, I think I got to the store and stopped before they make cookies and they're like, <laughs> Uh -huh. I wouldn't be saying that too loud. You may get banned from a store or something. Or somebody might be thrilled. You made a cookie out of them. Mm -hmm. Hilarious. I mean, that's a good way to practice. If you like, if there's a store that you go to a lot and you're, you know, maybe someone who works there would like a cookie of, of them. You can make a portrait cookie. Is that something you're working on? Oh yeah, the the Disney Disney Yourself collab on Instagram is happening on July twenty second. Maybe some oh, of you are yeah. part of that. Yeah. So I'm sure you guys have seen this app where like it takes your picture and it basically turns you into like a cartoon character. So um, basically this collab is like kind of turning yourself into a Disney character using that app as like a reference. Um, so that's what I'm working on. Okay, I'm going to set this aside while it's kind of doing its thing. And I'm gonna show you so do you remember our friend Strawberry from last week? I did, um, I did um, <laughs> um, goldfish and on my blog, I also have 30 other designs. Well, they are not here anymore, but uh, mm -hmm. 30 other designs um, using this same cutter. Have either of you made cookie puzzle? Yes, I have made cookie puzzle years ago for Valentine's Day. Mm. But it was more like a breakup puzzle. <laughs> it was too hard and it was broken up into pieces. Oh. <laughs> it's like a breakup puzzle. Like, okay, well, whatever. It was a puzzle. Yeah. yeah. So this is also a strawberry cookie, strawberry mm -hmm. shape. And so when you turn this upside down, you can utilize this just just imagine this is not here okay so this is kind of like when you look at this you see the that the shape is there for the shark so you can then you can either use it as a whole thing for the shark or you can use this template and then bottom you can use for the to make a, a body of water like ocean or something i've done one here Oh, I love it. I also just brushed this on. This is a thin layer. And then I use this template and I uh, trace the outline of my shark. And I basically follow the same tutorial I showed you a few minutes ago, except that it into the teeth there. And then you just take glue and make some waves. You could also come in with, uh, with um, star tip and make some waves with stiff realizing. So this and is a strawberry cutter. You see. Sarah has a good idea. You could even write a name in that. Oh yeah, space. absolutely. You could. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. You could put a name on here. Absolutely, Amber. <laughs> you could put Amber on there. Yes. So you could put name on there. You know, your kid's name or whatever. Mm -hmm. That's another yeah, unusual shape that you can use for the shark. So hello there. So are you crusting? So you can see the mouth is. The black is very well crusted. No, I'm just laughing at you talking to your yeah. cookie. Oh, it's fine. You can laugh. <laughs> so it's <laughs> so the mouth is crusted. So now I'm going to um, get my white and I'm going to make uh, some sharp teeth. You know, sharks they have two sets, right? They have like two sets of teeth, very sharp. Mm -hmm. Um, before you move on to the next step, let's just um, we're gonna see if we have any questions. We can talk about uh, Marlin's 
Yes, Marlin. Yeah, so let's yeah let's do that. Marlin has made really cool sharks. Um, look at these guys. Aren't they so cute? Their facial expressions. You know, uh, angry shark, happy shark, shark with a smirk. You know, uh, get lost shark and then, uh, you know, or whatever. Uh, so these are really fun, and uh, she put together a template for all of these, so you can create all of these facial uh, expressions and it's in her coffee shop. So let me put, um, here we go. So coffee shop down on the bottom of the screen, you can see um, Marlin's shop. I'm also going to, can we, I don't think I can um, copy, copy, copy paste it. Can we copy paste it into the comments? I guess not. But this is where you can get this awesome set. It has what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, it's very difficult. Yeah, six, yeah. Mm -hmm. More on coming. <laughs> so, yeah, so you can get these wonderful eight templates in Marlene's shop, mm -hmm. along with some other cool stuff that she has, has uh, there. Yeah, so Mar will be back next week. Well, she'll she'll be on with you on Tuesday, and then she'll, she'll be with me on Tuesday. We do a uh, bake along on Tuesdays. We are starting a um, cupcake series, so that should be oh nice. Week. Yes, cupcake series. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start on the teeth on this baby. Yeah, the sugar here is going to kill me at some point. Like I think I, I had mentioned, sugar here, it's very, uh, it's not as fine and it's clogging up everything. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's do this. I had a question on one of a video that I posted of yours. Somebody was asking me how you get such a small opening in your bag. It is pretty amazing. I just use scissors. Well, you are, you you get the same opening, no? Yeah. I mean, it's it's hard to get it that small and still get the icing to come out. But you're really good at that. Well, this guy's got big teeth, huh? Well, they fit his face, I think. I'm gonna cover some of them with uh, with red, so they won't be as huge. So you see, I'm doing triangles. Amber did uh, more of a teardrop. Right? Yeah. Like, so I'm doing triangles. So mm -hmm. you can. Do, I really like the teardrop. Okay, so that's for the teeth. Now I'm going to, this is partially crusted, so I would wait if I was you, if you were to make these, I would wait a little longer, but um, I'm going to do it right now. So I'm going to So some of the tipless bags have like big seams on them and even like I'll get a whole bag of a, a big pack of tipless bags and some of them are fine with like no seam and then some of them are just kind of like sealed wrong so that there's a big seam on it and that makes it so much harder to get like a really small oh, really in the same batch yeah you know I guess it's like the machine just ends up off at some points but I can uh, here we go so I've got my um put this aside i'll show you these are the tipless bags these have no name on them no brand so these are no brand tipless bags yeah but um they should look something like this if you have any kind of flap on either of si either side it's not going to give you the best results mm -hmm. for what you're looking for because the flap is going to interfere with how the icing is coming out so if you have some bags that have a flap, you can reserve them and use them with with tips. Don't just throw them out. They can still be used. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yes. 
I thought instead of scary shark, I would make some fun shark. Okay, focus. Oh, now I need to actually make my ice cream cones. So this shark, um, it's um, fed, or his diet, or her diet, sorry, this is a female uh, pink shark. Uh, his diet is ice cream and donuts and things like that. So I made some cute little ice cream cones. Um, and I guess I didn't, okay, just a second. So while that's happening, I'm going to, I could, this is partially crusted, so I'm going to start on doing this, the cone. Oh, here we go. All right, so it loaded up. So my mini cone um, template is available in my coffee shop, and I'm using, um, you should be using for these small, tiny cones, 20 second consistency will be perfectly fine. You can make these ahead of time. These are also transfers, like Amber did her shark. It's the same um, technique. I'm piping on a piece of wax paper. You can also use it to the parchment. But I do like for the same reason uh, wax paper as Amber because it doesn't warp as much as parchment, or my parchment anyway. It does warp a little bit, and wax paper stays more smooth. So after I do the triangles, I let it crust, and then you can pipe the, um, I'll show you in a second, I don't know if you can see. Oops. They're so small. These are basically sprinkles. They're so cute. I actually made these a couple of weeks ago during the live when we did Christmas in July, I did. Mm -hmm. So these, I mean, look at the pen. This is the pen, tip of the pen, how small they are. Yeah. They're very, very tiny, but they fit into the shark's mouth perfectly. Okay. Back to the cone. Have you ever had La Mignon's? Had what? Have you had uh, coconut La Mignon's? Oh, no. I don't even know what that is. Do you like coconut? Yes. Do you like chocolate? Yes. <laughs> Do you like sponge cake? Yes. You would like, you would like La Mignon's? It sounds good. Yeah, many Australians watching. Sarah was from Australia. Hi, Sarah. I know it's a big. Um, um, there's a there's a, not not a feud. I wouldn't say feud, but um, Australians say they invented lamignons, and New Zealanders say they invented them. So they have that going on. Oh, interesting. Or lamingtons? Did I, am I saying it wrong? Is it lamingtons? Did I say Lamignons or Lamington? La I think it's Lamington, sorry. We love them so much. So you'll post a picture of that, I hope, when you make them? Oh, I have a recipe on the blog. Oh, okay. Like, uh, we call them coconut hedgehogs. We always Do call them coconut like hedgehogs. Yes, <laughs> we call them coconut hedgehogs because they look like hedgehogs. Yes, we love them plain. My husband doesn't like things too complicated. So yes, plain, or you can fill them with cream or jam. I like that, or Nutella. But it's like overpowering, I find, with Nutella. Mm. So I really like them with just plain or jam. Yes, she said coconut hedgehogs. <laughs> yes. They're not, uh, we are not eating a coconut. Uh, we, we are not putting coconut on hedgehogs. We just call this dessert coconut hedgehogs. Don't ask me, like, I guess it resembles hedgehogs, I don't know. Anyway, that's a weird looking ice cream cone, but oh no. 
<laughs> I wanted to do the traditional one, but I kept adding the lines. Now yeah. it's kind of odd. Okay, it's better. All right, so now I'm going to do the eye of this uh, cute little monster. And I'm just gonna use black royal. We're gonna put a dot of black here. <laughs> What's that? Just banana feathers. <laughs> I mean, it's a whole, yeah, you, I guess you had to read the whole thread, but. <laughs> oh, okay, great. Do you have the first great, guys? So nobody's watching me decorate. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to actually, I brought some sprinkles because I figured this uh, monster also likes some sprinkles. So I wanted to add the sprinkles on my cookie so i'm just gonna i don't have a piece of wax paper here with me so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna wipe that later so i just had a little dot of icing here on the side and here are my sprinkles see so mm -hmm. i'm gonna take some small sprinkles just gonna dip I guess you never thought that you would see anyone picking Jimmy Spring. Well, I've done it, so. One, one. You have? Okay, excellent. I don't oh, yeah. Okay. okay, good. Oh, no, uh, I think that is redundant. I need some orange. Because this is a sweet, loving shark. Mm hmm Okay, green. I think I need some green in there. Yeah. See, now it's sticking. Okay. okay, and now the ice cream cone. So to add the ice cream cone, I'm just going to add more icing on here. And what you do, you just stick it on there. Oh, it looks like it actually got stuck between the teeth. Literally. <laughs> it literally got stuck between Perfect. the teeth. Okay. So I'm going to let me wipe this off. And now I'm going to do some more work on the bottom. We're going to do some water. Well, this is not dry completely, but um, you can start oh, these bags. See, I mean, the icing really. Sugar. Mm. Yeah. It really is hard when your sugar is not. So, but basically, I'm, I'm going to cover up the, the, the top. But um, I wanted to show you how to do that cone anyway. So you don't really have to do the top of the cone if you're going to cover it up. Everybody loves the shark ice cream. I love that. So. Well, no, it's not uh, your scary. Nobody has to be scared. No, I don't know. Sally's husband is still scared. Sally's so husband is still scared, even of this cute little <laughs> guy. I'm sorry, sorry, uh, sorry, girl. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to need some white in here, just a little bit. For this, you could do you could use um, star tip and have um, stiff icing and make some kind of waves. Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna do 
So for the bubbles, you want to start with dark blue, then pipe uh, light blue, and then white for the kind of reflection, I guess. Yeah. Okay, here we go. And now the white. Okay, and if any of these are too pointy, you can use your scribe. Okay, now I would wait for um, the body to dry, I think I mean, um, before drawing on it with edible marker. Otherwise, your edible marker may kind of sink um, and um, kind of cut the icing. Okay, so I've got my, these are two sisters. So you see on this one, this was dry. So I used marker. I don't want to do it on the one that I just finished because it's not um, dry yet. Yeah. So I use a marker to make, what are these called? These slits on the shark? Are they gills? Okay, yes, thank you. <laughs> so yeah, you want to do those after your icing dries, not when it's crusted or wet. So cute. So here are my. I love those. Oh, pink is perfectly acceptable color for men who have a terrible sense of. Oh my God, my husband would agree with you like hundred and fifty percent. I love if a man can pull off pink, it's fabulous. Fabulous. Any color is great. Mm -hmm. You can pull it off. If, Thank you. So yeah, so you can you can um, have fun with your sharks this season. Do some ice cream sharks if you can. I will have a template available. Um, I think tomorrow, but then I will. Remember, I see how you scream ice cream. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. So you can guys, um, you know, get your hands on this cute little template that you can use for the ice cream. And also, this ice cream shape is really nice for regular ice cream. Yes. Yes, and let's not forget the strawberry one. If you have a strawberry cutter, you can uh, do your sharks on a strawberry cutter as well. And you can do your... Or um, Jeremy, or um, if Mar would be here, she would also agree that uh, candy corn is perfect as well. Hey, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, folks, so we need, to, we need someone to take... Okay, can you do that? How did you do that? <laughs> Wait, we, should do, we should do it. Can you screenshot this, folks? Somebody, Somebody screenshot, screenshot it. it and send it to us. Screenshot, please. <laughs> okay, I think it was enough time. If you didn't get a screenshot during the time, guys, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so so this is a candy corn. Shape. Oh, thanks, Nicole. Nicole got it. Thank you, Nicole. And so um, you can also use this shape to, oh, I told you I was going to do the teeth on a shark. Um, <laughs> and you can use this as a body of water. What's going on in the comment section? Oh, I don't know. I was just. Um, I love <laughs> are these lunchtime live decoration shows every week? Yes, Mitzi, they are every week. For those of you who are new to our. Oops. Nope, sorry. No, no, thank you. So if you are new to our. Um, Cookie lunch break. We are on every week on Friday. We decorate cookies. Um, we are three friends, Amber of Sweet Ends, Marlena Montreal Confection. She's not here, but she's with us in spirit. Mm -hmm. And I'm Hani of Hanielas. So we decorate cookies every week at 1 p.m. Eastern time. That's a New York time. And then on Tuesday, we have another live with just Marlene and we are doing other things. We are going to start a new series, uh, Cupcake Decorating. 
and you can watch the replay um if you didn't watch or you didn't catch the whole live you can catch the replay or watch the replay on our youtube or facebook or yeah youtube or facebook yeah. yes yes respective channels and um Yes. Oh, thank you, Karen. So yes, so here I are, are actually my um they're a little mm -hmm. off time, but these are the sharks I did. And then um you can add the teeth. You can tell me which one you prefer. Do you prefer two sets of teeth <laughs> or two rows or one row? Now we both of us, uh, Amber and I, we like one row, right? This one, yeah. I, I think this one is really sinister. Yeah, <laughs> it's a little scary. It's a little scary. So this one is a bit more friendly, I think. Yeah. But let, let us know. And um, and yes. um, so, what's next week? Um, I don't know. Mari's back, so. She can have the whole hour. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. well, well, next week we are actually doing a beach theme. Remember? Nope. I don't remember. You don't remember? <laughs> okay. Check your messages. No? We are doing a beach theme. Um, yeah. I think, I think we are doing a beach theme. All right. Week, a week after. Like a everything beach related. Yes. I we're remember going to, now. I'm going to bring some sand from the beach and uh, I'll use the real sand on cookies. No, we're mm -hmm. going to. Yeah, it should be fun. Beach I theme. remember now. Yes. Okay. Beach theme is fun. What do you guys think? Beach theme, it never gets old, right? Mm hmm. Yes, how do we receive templates? So templates, I think uh, you you get you get to download them uh, upon the purchase, right? Yeah, there's like a link when you make the purchase, you'll have a link to download the template. And then if you have any trouble, just message us and we yes. can. Um, because, them. Yeah, we verify that your purchase and then if you couldn't download them, we'll just send you the... Um, Thank you, Katie. Thank you. Yes, Mar will be back. She will be back um, um, next week. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, we're going right. to wrap it up. Thank you so much for joining us. And we will be back next week. Don't forget to tune in on Friday at 1 p.m. Eastern time. Have a great weekend. Bye.